Hey guys, good evening. As you all know, I'm your Tejashvi. So today I came here with new knowledge and also with new ideas along with our new subject. So our new subject is zoology. I think you guys love zoology because zoology is an interesting subject which we can know about and interesting facts about human beings and also animals. And in zoology today we are going to know about cockroach and you guys know about scientific names as usually our cockroach also have a scientific name called periplaneta americana Peri planeta Americana So our cockroach scientific name is Peri planeta Americana <coughs> and I had prepared some slides let's go on to see those slides Okay, so as you all know, our subject is zoology, and today we are going to know about Periplaneta Americana, which is also known as cockroach. And let's see body of cockroach. Body of cockroach is divided into three segments called head, thorax, abdomen. So, first, today we are going to know about head. Head of cockroach is a small triangle shape. During embryonic development, six segments fuse it to form head. We have in in cockroach body we have almost all body consist of segments. In that six 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 segments fuse it to form head during the embryonic development. Head of cockroach is also known as hypognathus. Head of cockroach is also known as hy hypognathus. Head of cockroach is also known as hypo. Nathus. Hypo here, hypo means below. Nathus means sorry, here, yeah. Nathus means mouth parts. Hypo means hypognathus means below mouth parts. here the slide is also showing that head of cockroach is also known as hypognathus hypognathus means below mouth parts and hypo means below gnathus means mouth part mouth parts and we have to know about the definition of hypognathus yes the definition of hypognathus is it lies hanging right angle to the body Posterior is wider part and all mouth parts are directly downwards. Yes, it hanging like a right hand, like a right angle. Hanging, it lies like a okay, hanging right angle to the body. Let, let's see the image. I mean, just a uh, rough.
so hanging right angle hanging right angle it lies like a hanging right angle so this part is head and this part is body of cockroach body so it lies like a hanging right angle that's why at, at the slight hypogonatus definition is informed as that so definition of hypogonatus is it lies hanging right angle to the body posterior is wider part and all the mouth parts are down, directly downwards so the third slide and sclerites of head we have so let's discuss about the body parts in that sclerites sclerites cockroach head contains seven number of sclerites and they are one pair of epicranial plates and fronts clypeus labrum gene and here gene also is a one pair Sclerites of head. Sclerites. One pair. I mean, one pair of epicranial. epicranial epicranial plates so here we have two sclerites two sclerites and the next one is fronts fronts is the second sclerite and the next one is clypeus 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 is the third number of sclerite and the next one is labrum labrum this is the fourth number of sclerite and the next one is gene pair of gene here we have two sclerites i had counted as pair also with pair in one pair we have two sclerites in in the above in the above we have seen one pair of one pair of epicranial plates and at last we have one pair of gene here we have four and other is fronts 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 clypeus labrum so 4 plus 3 we have seven so seven sclerites but the actual is five sclerites but with counting of pairs is seven sclerites it's it should be in your mind keep in mind it yeah we have done with sclerites and we have known about all this epicranial plates head contains one pair of epicranial plates here i already told you that epicranial plates are pain which is also two epicranial plates 
and they are connected with epicranial suture epicranial suture and these three parts are fixed in vertex which is also known as top part of head but here you should keep in mind that epicranial suture is not a sclerite it's just a connected part to epicranial plates and the next one is frons frons is the largest sclerite of head you should keep in mind that is largest sclerite of head not the body largest sclerite of the head is frons and frons is present between two compound eyes later i will draw the head i mean dorsal view of dorsal and also ventral view of periplaneta and the next one is clypeus clypeus is also known as a rectangular sclerite because why the clypeus got the rectangular sclerite name is it shaped as rectangle so that's why it got name rectangular sclerite it is present downward to the to the fronts and the next one is labrum labrum is also known as upper lip and also movable sclerite it is the only sclerite which can move so that's why it got upper lip and also movable sclerite present down down to the rectangle sclerite it located downward to the rectangular sclerite and the last one is genie genie is a pair of sclerites and genie is also known as cheek sclerites genie is present down to the compound eyes and the next one is some other parts of head is antennae fenestra and here i should mention that and here i should mention that epicranial suture suture which i had told you before only and epicranial suture let's see antennae sorry here some other <coughs> some other why i had given the head the title as some other parts of head because we had studied sclerites of the head and next uh, i mean without sclerites of అంటే స్క్లీరైట్స్ లేకుండా మిగతా పార్ట్స్ ఉంటాయి కదా వాటి గురించి యాంటీని అండ్ దే ఆర్ త్రీ యాంటీని ఫెనిస్ట్రా అండ్ ఎపిక్రేనియల్ సూచర్ సో లెట్స్ లర్న్ అబౌట్ యాంటీని యాంటీని కంటైన్ త్రీ పార్ట్స్ యాంటీని యాజ్ డివైడెడ్ ఇన్ టు త్రీ పార్ట్స్ విచ్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో నోన్ యాజ్ కేప్ పెడిసిల్ ప్లాజల్లం విచ్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో నోన్ యాజ్ క్లేప్ పెడిసిల్ ప్లాజలం ఐ షో ద డైటీని వెయిట్ యాంటీనీ this one is scape this one is pedicel pedicel and this is plazolum plazolum combination of this three parts we call it as antennae they are scape pedicel plazolum with these three combination we ha- we have antennae antennae let's go back to our slides
there we have mm, yeah i i already show that the diagram of antony escape present down up up to pedestal puzzle up up to the pedestal puzzle escape down up to the escape we we found pedestal pedestal upward we found placellum i showed you diagram already and function of functions of antony the functions of antony or he helps in olfactory and tactile you should know about olfactory and tactile so olfactory is a sense of smell and tactile is taste or touch i should add another point here yes it it present it present in fronds fronds which is known as which is known as largest largest sclerite of head thank you it's enough and let's go to 12th slide Fen fenestra functions of fenestra fenestra is a pair of fenestra is a pair of white spots which is present behind the behind 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 okay behind which is present behind the antennae is very close to antennae and fenestra is also called as simple eye and also ocellus functions of fenestra fenestra is not involved in the image formation but it recognize the intensity of light this is the fenestra's function and let's go to our 13th slide ventral part of head before till 12th slide we have studied about dorsal part of head and let's see ventral part of head ventral part of head consist two main parts also only two parts they are occipital foramen and occiput sclerite let's see what are the functions where they present occipital foramen occipital foramen occipital foramen is the largest hole surrounded by occiput sclerite the function of occiput foramen is i'll show the dorsal see sorry ventral view this is our cockroach head this is our ventral part and a large hole this is our occipital occipital foramen sorry foramen okay let's go and see the functions of occipital foramen sorry guys yeah this is our slide occipital foramen 
is the largest hole surrounded by occiput sclerite which is surrounded by occiput sclerite and the function of occipital foramen is it gave sorry here we should add that it gives it gives it give passages to esophagus iota narca trachea to function this is the function of occipital foramen and let's go to our sclerite occipital sclerite a sclerite which is surrounded by which is surrounded to occipital occipital foramen the functions of occiput is protection of occipital occipital foramen occipital occiput sclerite is also known as protective sclerite to occipital foramen it give protection occiput sclerite gives protection to occipital foramen yeah guys i gave you about our very planet as head here the board is not comfortable to me but we have to do with that only first i'll show you dorsal view okay this is our compound eyes this is our compound eyes and this is epicranial suture sorry this this one is epicranial suture and these two are epicranial plates and this three part with consist of this three parts we called it as what vertex which is also known as top of head and sorry guys this is our fronts this is our fronts and this is our clypeus and this is our labrum and this is our gene which is also known as cheek cells cheek sorry cheek sclerites and here we have what here we have our our compound sorry it's not compound our fenestra and here we have our antennas sorry for this uncomfortable drawing and i had given this notes as as short in a, in my channel you can see see it and you can draw it comfortable and you can see it clearly and this is our ventral view ventral view ventral view and he, here our occipital foramen and this is our occiput sclerite occiput occiput occipital foramen occipital foramen and let's see what in 15th slide Yeah, this is our end slide. Continue tomorrow. Yes, we continue it tomorrow, and we continue it tomorrow. And this is your Tejas V, and this is your Tejas V.
as you all know our telangana government has given a lockdown at least for 10 days it's so and the free time is 6 to 7 o'clock sorry 10 o'clock in those be out in those time but be home be in home be in home after that time and do not go out and respect the police thank you stay home stay safe be strong because of corona thank you thank you all do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel